How do municipalities manage their waste? Municipalities play a crucial role in waste management, ensuring that waste is collected, processed, and disposed of in an efficient and environmentally friendly manner. Which Sharif Incorporated handles these problems to integration of environmental values and promoting a circular economy. Now, let me tell you about one of their projects located in the municipality of Alabel, Sarangani. Today, we are going to the sanitary landfill and wastewater treatment facilities constructed and designed by Rich to Reef in the highlands of the Sangarni province. In Alabel, R2R has established a state-of-the-art landfill facility complete with its own wastewater treatment system. What makes this landfill unique is how it's divided into two sections based on the type of waste, hazardous and residual. Each section is carefully managed to prevent environmental contamination. Let's first talk about the residual landfill. From the get-go, waste is collected from household, businesses, and public areas. Municipalities encourage residents and businesses to separate waste into categories such as recyclables, organic waste, general waste, and hazardous waste. This allows for efficient segregation and waste management. In this landfill, anything that is not considered hazardous are statically layered with alternating materials and covers to optimize containment and minimize environmental impact. Beneath the waste layers, a leachate collection system ensures that any liquid produced as waste decomposed is captured and treated for safe disposal or reuse. The final closure phase involves capping the landfill with layers of clay, topsoil, and vegetation to minimize erosion promote site restoration, and ensure long-term environmental integrity. Now let's talk about their wastewater treatment facility. This involves a series of specialized processes. Starting with the holding tanks, incoming water undergoes initial settling where heavy solids settle as sludge and lighter materials rise to form scum. This stage allows for the equalization of flow rates and prepare the wastewater for further treatment. From there, it moves to an aerobic tank where specialized bacteria break down organic matter in the presence of oxygen, producing methane and carbon dioxide as byproducts. Next, the partially treated wastewater enters the facultative tank. Here, a diverse microbial community continues to break down organic pollutants through biological processes. Wastewater then flows into maturation tanks or ponds where the treated effluent undergoes final polishing. Maturation tanks provide an extended period of biological and chemical reactions to further reduce pathogens and stabilize dissolved organic matter. Moving on to the hazardous landfill facilities. The pyroclave system operates at high temperatures to efficiently treat hazardous materials including biomedical waste and chemicals. It is capable of processing 15 kilograms of waste in just 4 minutes per batch or continuously for up to 6 hours. The pyroclave ensures rapid and thorough destruction of organic compounds and pathogens. After burning, waste is then placed in the landfill which is lined with HTP aligners to ensure that no harmful leachates seep into the soil. Similar to residual landfill facilities, there are methane exhaust pipes underneath safely release gases that build up as waste decomposes. Simultaneously, the integrated wastewater treatment facility processes the leachate. It begins with bar screens to filter out large solids, reducing the total suspended solids in the effluent. The water then moves into a large holding tank for further processing. Next, it passes through an oil and grease separator where oils are separated based on the density differences. After that, it enters a settling tank equipped with diffusers to accelerate the settling process of the remaining solids. The wastewater undergoes activated sludge treatment to control the biochemical oxygen demand or BOD levels, a critical step in ensuring water quality. 
finally, it goes through a carbon filtration and chlorination to eliminate bacteria before it's safely discharged into the environment. These comprehensive measures demonstrate that Reef's commitment to environmental stewardship. They're not just building infrastructures, they're innovating solutions that protect our planet and promote sustainability. It's clear they're not just a construction and consultancy company. They're a force for positive change. So whether you're passionate about the environment, interested in sustainable development, or looking for inspiration in eco-friendly practices, Reach the Reef is a company you'll want to keep in your radar. They're proving that with dedication and innovation, we can create a brighter and cleaner future. That, that concludes, concludes the video. video. We hope you've learned something. Bye!